Hey man, say man, it's Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 1079, the most energetic entertainer, Manny Supreme here with the legendary Murder Beats. Murder, What's up, man? How you feeling today, Thank man? Thank you for having me, man. Got the ice on, you know what I'm saying? Watch on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? How is it, man? New single. You in the town, you in the city, got the wire in, tag. How you feeling you know today? Saying? Young Rich Nation, by the way. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> nation, it's Nation. How you feeling today, man? I'm good, man. You know what I'm saying? New single yeah. coming out tonight. I don't know when y'all feeling dropping this shit, but it's out right now ASAP. you know what i'm saying talk about no who's mods. on it man you said pharrell j balvin quavo <laughs> that's why i'm in atlanta right now i felt like it was right to bring in the record shout out quay a town's on so quavo j balvin anita and pharrell you know what i'm saying my single murder so pharrell that's a you know pharrell's been going crazy something's in a water fish talk about working with another and you know i'm gonna ask you in a second who's your mount rushmore of producers but Talk about just the creative style and process of working with somebody like Pharrell. Yeah, so we've been working for like a few years now. We've been, we made a lot of music. Nothing's like ever released, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So I pulled up on Quavo in LA and like we were just catching up, like playing like ideas and stuff. We were working on and stuff. He played me this unfinished idea with Pharrell and I was like, this shit kind of fire. Like I want to fuck with it because I was working with Balvin at the time. So yeah. I called him up. He sent me the stems and stuff. I fucked with it. Added the murder sauce and shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. Took that shit to Balvin. And then he loved it, got right on it and shit. And yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Like right now, you know what I'm saying? Me and me and Anita are kind of, we're a thing, you know yeah, what I'm saying? So, okay. So yeah, like I threw, I threw my baby girl on there and put that's that fine. shit out. Wow, so talk really about cool. it, like having somebody in the industry that's a significant other, like how was that support system? Like I'm sure you guys like understand like what it is and yeah. like talk about it. At first we didn't even really want to like work with each other for real yeah i was like you know what i'm saying we were just like oh like you know like we, we weren't gonna work and then like i kind of wandered around the shit so i just put it on yeah and shit. but it's been dope man that's you know what I'm she's super cool you know what i'm saying she brought me to brazil yeah, yeah. like last month she got that shit on lock crazy brazil's, brazil's going, a crazy going country. insane that shit is wild so when you first came up making beats and your sound it was so distinct right mm -hmm. you know we talk about some of the big producers like for real who is murder beats mount rushmore of producers Fuck, how, how many, many is it? How many is it like four or five? <coughs> four? Five. Four. Four, okay, shout out to you. It's lights up. Right. Who's your four? Fuck, man. Probably like Dr. Dre. You gotta put them up. Pharrell, there. Timbo, and Murder Beast. I feel like I feel like people forget about Timberland. Me and Stu have versus battles all the time and Timberland. Then they yeah. said at one point he produced like 50% of what was playing. Like, you know, he, yeah, was, no, he, he did his thing. He was insane. And especially like for me to like be releasing singles now and like as an artist mm -hmm. and stuff, like I look up to those guys who were like weren't just behind the scenes, yeah. you know what I'm saying, putting out their own songs. That's hard. Right. Now, how do you feel like music has changed since you entered the game? Because, you know, when you entered it, it was people like the Migos on Fire, Ray Shrimmer, like the Smoke Migos Perk. Even, like, when I came in the game, the Migos weren't even hot. I found them on live mixtapes and Dap They really? were like, starting to bubble. Really? You know what I'm saying? So the game is. I, I came in the game like trying to get on mixtapes, mm -hmm. trying to get the DJs to put Produced by Murder in the title yeah. and shit, make sure my tag was on there, make mm -hmm. sure the directors when they were dropping the video would put like Produced by Murder at the beginning, yeah. just trying to get all the networking I could mm -hmm. get. That's smart. You know what I'm saying? The Migos would go do like a college show, I like hit the tag, like everyone's video, so they'd be like, oh, that was like White Boy on stage. Yeah. Like, like, I was always about networking That's and like hard. just trying to like build myself up and That's shit, hard. you know what I'm saying? But it definitely changed a lot. Now I feel like the game's oversaturated and shit, mm -hmm. and a lot of people, people, it's, it's like, I guess it's easier to become an artist or like just mm -hmm. to make a song or make a beat and put on the internet. Now, now. what do you contribute that to? Because you know, like when you came internet. in, it was really just like, what, Twitter, and yeah. Instagram, now it's TikTok, you got TikTok, all types yeah. of apps that's, you know, blowing people no, up and turning them into stars. It's just a lot. I feel like it's a lot, so, but things are just going to keep changing mm -hmm. and keep going up and just... Higher and higher. Now yeah. talk about it like, so your drop. Is legendary. How did you come up with it? What was the like process? Were there was there a drop that you had before? You know, murder on the beats. You know, it's not yeah. nice or like what other? Who came up with that? Yeah, so murder on the beat. So it's not nice. So I was working with Baca. Mm. He's like Drake's like not he, nice. He's like that was a crazy. So yeah, he was like he was like he's like Drake's boy and mm -hmm. shit. You know what I'm saying? He just got out of jail and I was like, yo, you just start rapping like yeah. like. Drake's talking about you and something. Yeah. I'm gonna declare the holiday as soon as Baca get back on the road. Yeah, like, going he's, crazy. Been, he's been doing that, so it's like we got him in the booth, started like like rapping and stuff on my beats and stuff, and then one one day on a song he just said murder on, murder on the beat, so it's not nice. And Sunny Digital was in Canada. Shout out Sunny, man. Yeah, shout out Sunny at the time, and I was like, yo, like I played him. He's like, I'm like, what if I use it as a tag? He's like, man, you should try it. Like it's not gonna hurt. That's fine. So I started throwing it on beats and stuff. 
and then Drake fucked with me. He's like, yo, every every beat you send me, just start putting that on there, and then just went crazy. Now with this new era of music, because we talked about how much music has changed. You know, you got dogs like Yeet. We was talking about a shout out Kim Carson, Homicide Gang, Playboy Cardi, like. How do you think this wave of new underground music is gonna catch fire? So Fago, I mean, there's so many of them. It's always gonna catch fire, you know what yeah. I'm saying? The underground always comes to light, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because that's like with the youth and like that's the cool shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like back in the day, it's crazy I say back in the day now, right. but, it's like, but it's like when I like the Migos, Travis, all these guys, they all started somewhere, SoundCloud, and yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? And then they, they pop off, they blow up, mixtape yeah. wave, all that shit. For sure. It's all the same shit, it's just happening again, you know? Crazy. Now, your single is crazy, you know, we got to see the exclusive of it. Talk about those visuals, like who shot it? What was the like brainstorm behind it? So, what's his name, Jason? Ja Jackson TC. J Jackson TC. Shout so out. He's on um, Director X's team, Director uh, X. X is crazy, yeah, so X is crazy. Director X. And his company do pretty much a lot of Drake mm -hmm. videos and shit. They did the new Drake um, future video. Fine. They shot Snowfall. They, <sighs> they shoot like a bunch of shit. So right. it was only and like I'm working on a documentary with them right now. That's hard. So can can we get an exclusive? Right. What's, can we get an exclusive name? Or what's it's, too it's, it's too early. It's too early. Okay. Well, we exclusive were, here. He's working on one. Working on something. That's hard. But um, it was only right for me to get them to shoot the video. Mm -hmm. Big budget. Blockbuster film with all Fire. the superstars. So is it gonna come out like how Kanye did it in the movie theaters? Or are you gonna put on like a Netflix or a Hulu? We'll figure it out. Okay, for sure. It's gonna be hard though. Is, yeah, definitely. For sure. So talk about it, the Drake collab. Now you said you know when you were coming up, Drake was like, "Hey, throw this, throw your tag on my songs." Like, how did that relationship come about? And then like, what is it today? What you think about the new album? Like, yeah. talk about your relationship. Um, I just started seeing him at parties and shit when I started like getting, like L.A. No, uh, Toronto. Toronto. Like, right, talk I talk about it. We got a fellow Canadian in the building. Yeah, real shit. Like I started coming to America to build my career, mm -hmm. cause like I felt like you know what I'm saying. You know how it is in your hometown. You gotta go out, build it up, and then you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So then once I like got my buzz and shit going in Atlanta, I went back to Toronto to to get into the scene over there. That's, there. That's when I started like meeting Drake and stuff. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. And uh, yeah, we made a lot of records together. That's all right. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing his thing. His new albums, I think it's fire. I love it. I think it's fire. People call it H and M music. It's like you can work out to it. You can play it with the kids in the back. There's no cussing. It's, it's people, just a vibe. People gotta understand. There's, there's there's a lot of culture in the world. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta like be open to like listening to new vibes mm -hmm. and shit. Like I remember, like I saw people bashing it and stuff. And I was in Canada at the time a couple weeks ago. And I was like driving from Niagara to Toronto. It's like an hour drive. So I was just bumping the album. I know the, the scenery album. is crazy. Yeah, yeah, but I was just bumping the the album, and I was like, "This shit fire." Yeah, fuck with What'd it. What'd you give it? One out of ten. I give it a solid eight. I like it. I think Sticky's my favorite song. It is. Sticky is yeah. catchy. Yeah. Sticky is catchy. We put those on the reels that go up. Yeah. But look, A Town, of course, is landing number one hip hop station with my dog Mother Beats. Yes, sir. Came out and sit down with the kid. Make sure you go cop that single out right now. Shout out to that boy Radio Guy Stu. Help put it together. You. Yeah.